Hello. Assassins are a high risk, high reward unit which can perform devastating flanks, but is easily countered by alert players. As a result, they require a lot of babysitting and careful positioning to make the most of them. Let's go over their skills. Prowl makes them quickly run to the target location while jumping above and counter to enemies. They have some iframes during the jump, so it's somewhat safe to run through enemy lines. After reaching the destination, they attack nearest targets. They have a significant damage and movement speed bonus while using the skill, so make sure to use it instead of basic attacks. You can also use it to move around the map, because the cooldown is very low. Just keep in mind that they might get stuck in complicated paths, so try to make it simple. Their second skill is Eviscerate. They perform a short combo which applies a strong bleed and damage reduction. After the combo, they attack with basic attack, so make sure to follow it up with Prowl or another Eviscerate to keep the DPS up. The last skill is a Smoke Bomb. After activating, Hashashins will throw smoke in front of nearest targets. Any enemy unit which will enter the smoke will receive the debuff which makes them unable to attack your unit. They will just ignore Hashashins and seek out other targets. The debuff lasts for around 4 seconds, but it's refreshed if the enemy stays in the smoke. It's a very strong skill which allows you to kill enemy units without taking any damage. There is a catch though. Firstly, some units do not seem to be affected by this, the main example being Mermilon's Shard which will just wipe your unit. Secondly, if you smoke the braced units like Stalwarts or Fertebratios, you will affect only front rows, so the backlines will still hit you. Because of that, the smoke is the most effective against mobile, densely packed units like Shield Maidens, because they are very likely to walk into it and be affected by the debuff. Another important thing regarding skills is that the Pro and the Viscerate are gated by action points. Each skill costs 1 point and you gain 1 point every 6 seconds. You can store up to 5 action points though, so it's not that easy to run out of them. In most situations, running out of action points means that you overstayed in the fight. Ok, let's talk about Veterancy now. They have 3 lines which are more or less similar apart from the last notes. Top line speeds up the action point gain by 2 seconds, mid line increases the base damage of Eviscerate and also provides flat increase to its bleed, and the bottom line increases prowl damage and makes Hashashins throw a smoke every time they jump over an enemy. It's a very strong effect which allows you to permanently smoke your target. Keep in mind that they throw the smoke only when they jump over something, so you have to aim your prowl behind the enemies. If you aim too close, they will just keep attacking without making a jump. In my opinion, the bottom line is the best, because it allows you to abuse smoke to easily kill enemy units. However, I think that mid is also a valid choice. It promotes a more safe approach, because you don't overstay by juggling prowl and eviscerate. On the other hand, you have a harder time killing some units, because you cannot reapply the smoke. Actually, after recording the previous part, I changed my mind a bit. Uh, I played more without the bottom line, like without this additional smoke, and I found that it's not really affecting my gameplay that much. Actually, the best way of playing them, which I found, is just jumping in and spamming Eviscerate, because it's the highest damage and it has the best AI, so they are killing things just the most effective. However, the problem with the mid line is that it mostly buffs the damage of your bleed, and the thing with the bleed is that uh, you cannot, uh, like if 10 assassins hit one target, you don't have 10 times more bleed damage, you cannot stack it. So I figured that instead of going for the mid line, I will just go with the mix, because you can take all the eviscerate damage increases uh, when you go for the mid line and the bottom line. I think it's a quite interesting choice, especially considering that Hashassins hit a lot of back hits, which further increase damage of your skill, but they do not affect your bleed at all. In the end, if you have spare veteran series sets, I would advise to check both options and pick the one which suits you more. As for the top line, it's worthless. I ran out of action points maybe in 1 in 10 games, so it's a waste of points. Moving on to the Doctrines. Assassins have three unique Doctrines, two of them come from challenges and one comes from the event which appears from time to time. 
The combat doctrine is a must have because Hashashins have a low base multi hit, so it makes a huge difference. The other two are ok and I use them myself. Currently I'm running full damage build with two unique doctrines plus siege fighter and upgraded assassination and breakthrough. Going for defense is also a good choice, especially the doctrines which reduce damage taken by a few percent. I experimented with using movement doctrine but honestly they don't need more speed because they are already faster than most units. Alright, we got the easy part out of the way, now how do you use them? I guess it will be easier if I start with some general tips. First one being don't fight the cavalry. It never ends well for Hashashins because they struggle to hit moving targets and they also get knocked around by the horses. You can kill them, but the trade is unfavorable. The second tip is avoid dueling other players. Assassins can easily 1v1 other units, but if there is an enemy player interrupting them is a whole different story. They tend to stack up very densely, so it's easy to stunlock them. As a rule of thumb, if the enemy is ready to fight you, then just fight another target or wait until he switches his focus to something else. Next one is Hashashins takes forever to kill large units. They don't spread out when attacking, so a lot of potential DPS is lost when 10 Hashashins swing at one archer. Because of that, I avoid using them as archer hunters, it's just not worth it. On the other hand, Falcos and Muskets are great targets. The fourth tip is do not underestimate your unit. Even a few Hashashins are still able to get a lot of kills, especially if you leave them in the prowl mode so don't throw them away too quickly. I would say if you have at least 3 of them, it's still worth sending them to the supply point. Less than that is not worth a hassle. The fifth tip is avoid jumping into braced units. Even if there are no players around, it's a lottery, because you depend on your iframe to survive the impact. And the last tip is if you want to catch an escaping target, then aim your prowl in front of it. It's because Hashashins rarely hit targets which move away from them, so you want to be in front of them. Ok, let's talk a little more about their skills. The usual combo is throw the smoke, use prowl behind enemies, cancel the prowl with eviscerate when you are in the middle of enemy unit. If enemies are spread out, then use prowl again and let your Hashashins attack. But if they are grouped, then spam eviscerate. If you see enemy players coming, then escape with prowl. It's very important to bait enemy units into the smoke before engaging. As I mentioned earlier, Hashashins throw it in front of the target, so if that enemy is backing off, he won't be affected, and you don't want to fight them if they fight back. I also said that Hashashins do not spread out during the fight. That's why it's worth spamming Eviscerate when fighting densely packed foes. Eviscerate makes them do the slide, which naturally spreads them out, allowing them to better utilize their multi-hit. If enemies are all over the place, it's better to leave them with Prowl active because you won't be able to control them effectively anyways. Also, in such situations, it might be better to just disengage and find another target, which will be easier to focus down. Ok, I have two more things to add. Uh, Allied smoke is not affecting your Hashashins. And the second one is that they are somewhat range immune, because range units just cannot hit them. I'm not sure if it's a bug or a feature, but for now don't waste your time smoking range units. To sum this up, Hashashins are hard to use, but when you make them work they are very satisfying. You will need to play a bunch of games to see how they behave, what you can kill and what you should avoid. Just start with the basic combo I described and you should be fine. Also, leave a like on this video if you found it useful, and if you have any questions or comments then head out to the comment section. Thank you for watching and see you next time.